morning to you and welcome back it's time for us to get out on the water again sorry it's been so long since the last video but uh, you know how it goes things get busy and things get crazy but anyway we're back on the water this morning I come out to Bronco Sprite Dam nice and fresh on this nice winter's uh, morning the dam uh, is not too bad it's 56.7 degrees uh, Fahrenheit this morning when I launched so it's not terrible just a nice cool part about the morning is just get out and and just be fresh and and just be super grateful for the opportunities to get out onto the water and uh, try and catch a bass so yeah come along with me today let's get out there and see what we can sort out The following video was brought to you by Shimano. Closer to nature, closer to people. iVolt, when performance matters. Lorance, find more fish easily. Gary Yamamoto, because what you fish matters. McCarthy's baits, quality baits in one's hands. Club Marine, covering you on and off the water. Fishtech, high definition fishing charts for every situation. Zebra socks, custom baits made easy. Raptor Bass Boats by Delta Marine. Here we go, finally, fish on the boat, sure. McCarthy's paddle tail doing it again, really this fish crushed this bait, fishing it slow on the bottom in the weed, nice bronco sprayed fish, perseverance always pays off, these fish are healthy, really good nick, very excited about this one. Very nice fish. Right, let's head off to the next spot. Running around the dam at the moment. I'm just looking for, for more isolated pieces of cover. As you've seen, I've just come out of the isolated grass and now I've just found this uh, isolated piece of water hyacinth, which is uh, pushed up against the bank. I like to come off a little bit earlier than normal. So, you know, just to, so my approach is correct. Come in nice and quietly. Let's get our Lawrence goes trolling motor into the water. I've identified two areas just looking at those points of that water hyacinth right now. You've got the left and the right. So that would be the my starting area when I approach these spots. Yeah, I'm going now to the one on the left. And immediately rewarded with the fish. That rattle trap just started falling and as I pulled it, that fish completely inhaled it. This is exciting. His fish are strong. Fishing 12 pound fluorocarbon in this particular case. Fishing a G Loomis IMX Pro 906 crankbait rod paired with a Shimano Corrado PG, which is a 5 ratio reel. That's what I'm currently using at the moment. Let's get this fish in the boat. Solid hookup. This particular one coming on a black and gold rattle trap. Very, very nice. It's nice when they get hold of it properly. That's what you're talking about, boys.
what you call in the hatch right there here we go guys that's it beautiful bronco sprite winter bass can't beat it Nice Saturday afternoon. Let's get her back in the water. Right, we've just moved on to this main lake point. I've had a lot of success here in the past, so just stopped here now quickly. There's the GPS coordinates for easy reference, and I'm pitching a Zebra Socks custom spinnerbait. It's a pattern that I've liked that Nico has tied up for me, which resembles that baby carp, and uh, just covering this bank. Doing these sort of slow methodical pictures just covering the water in every possible angle wherever I see a little bit of hyacinth that's sticking out further than the others I'll make sure I get my bait into that zone so if you look up ahead of me here you can see all these little sort of points that it makes and that's exactly what I'm doing just targeting all those little ambush points getting that spinnerbait right into the strike zone very very important to to maximize success you see there's a little cut here so theoretically there should be a fish on the point and this is a high ambush area so right there where the arrows indicated now and immediately the fish comes out and eats it it's so exactly what i'm saying you can see it makes like a little point there and that is where the fish is staying to ambush the bait fish are so strong this time of the year. Absolutely love it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. That's what it's about. Just trying to get these fish to to activate. It's getting a bit later now, so what's happening is the water is now probably at its maximum. Late afternoon, about half past three-ish. So now I'm expecting these fish to start to become very active for what they're looking for. That one came out straight out of the weed and grabbed the trap. Very nice fish. Let's get it back into the water now. <laughs> Better, better, straight down the noshes. Here we go, guys, that's what you're talking about, eh? Another good fish, unbelievable. It's now starting to activate so while they're activating let's just enjoy it very very cool nice just enjoy the afternoon what is left temperatures dipping nicely now so i think they're activating for the evening so let's awesome let's stick it back Go. 
Hey. Zebra stock spinnerbait. Zebra socks doing the job. Unbelievable spinnerbait. Seriously. That's what it's about. In the hatch, guys. I'll talk about them just now in a little bit more detail, but bet you get you some of these Zebra sock custom spinnerbaits. Really. Uh, Nico is doing an unbelievable job. I've just got so much confidence. And there we go. The proof is in the pudding. There we go, guys. Zebra socks does it again. Awesome fish. Very, very cool. It's a custom built by Nico himself. You know, Nico's a, a very, very well respected bass angler and uh, been competing for many, many years. Him and I have come a long way and I've got the utmost respect for Nico. Really, he's, he's really putting something together now. Um, this is his passion. Um, I can tell you right now that these spinnerbaits are really next level. When it comes to, to components and the blades and everything that he uses, um, his paint jobs, his skirts, all hand tied skirts. So really, these baits are exceptional. I also use a swim jig and absolutely love them as well. When the fish are eating those things, they cannot leave them alone. But uh, likewise, he does so many different configurations of these spinnerbaits different blade configurations, whatever colors. The nice thing with him, you can customize it as you want it. So for me, it's a big bonus. I can pick and choose and really get my skirts and tweak them the way I want them. So Nico, thank you very much, buddy. Doing the job again. Awesome, love it. Okay, in this situation, what I'm doing is I'm putting that swim jig as far as I can in front of me. You'll see there's a couple of isolated pieces of grass just slightly situated off this water height. And so I'm targeting that sort of three to five foot range, making the longest possible cast that I can and then just slowly ticking over the, over the grass edges. Kind of feeling it going through the grass right now. And just making sure I remain contact with the grass immediately. Now this thing absolutely crushed this bait. It's got me bogged down. Just keep pulling and getting it out of the grass. Yes, please. Here we go, zebra stock swim jig. I told you. These things are unbelievable. Phew, beautiful fish, man. Here we go. Swim jig zip from Zebra Socks, custom built. And there's the, there's the results, guys. That's what it's about. Really, this, this excites me. I mean, who would have said in winter that you're going to catch fish on a swim jig? I mean, all I'm doing is just paralleling the grass here. There's a bit of grass a little bit deeper next to the hyacinth and... Uh, just slow rolling that thing. There we go. That's what it's about. Right, I think um, let's have a bit of a, a tackle breakdown very quickly. So this is a Zebra Socks custom swim jig. I've actually custom, custom designed some of my jigs with Nico. And uh, that's the nice thing about it. You can really, you can really sit down and uh, speak to him about what you're looking for his pattern that you're after and at the end of the day he builds you something that is so perfect it's really all i can say is it's next level customization for spinner baits uh, for swim jigs rod socks from nico for to protect all my rods my reels everything comes from zebra socks really it's um, he's been around for such a long time he's got an unbelievable reputation in the market and um, i will drop a link in the description below and you guys can contact Nico direct and get your get your custom swim jigs uh, built up. You can get your custom spinner baits built up. So I'll definitely be talking more about the swim jig going down the line as the season turns. Today is I caught a really really nice fish on it, so very very happy. I only got the one fish on it today, but I mean it is winter, so I didn't expect anything uh, any more than that to be honest with you. So, but I've just got so much confidence, and again throwing it 
in the winter months just goes to show you that it really resembles the bait fish so nicely and that fish that I caught just couldn't resist it. The other, the other bait that I caught a very nice fish on, again another custom bait, this being a spinner bait. I've also custom built this to the specs that I wanted. This particular one's a quarter ounce and it's a, a double willow with both gold planes and I'm basically resembling a small carp which I felt this time of the year these bass should be eating so also got a very very nice fish on this and very very happy so again guys I, I definitely recommend that you contact Nico and uh, get yourself some patterns made up really it's it's so worth it at the end of the day you know it's not it's not like buying a bait off the shelf I'm talking about customized baits and you cannot buy that on the shelf in my opinion these components are next level really his service is un out of this world really it's it's world class and i can only encourage you to give him a call and you are guarantee you're not going to be sorry the other thing that i also got a very nice fish on today is a mccarthy's paddle tail this particular one's a junebug variation and i just dipped the tail in a bit of chartreuse so this also got me a very nice fish and I got that fish in about 12 foot of water. So what happened was there's a bit of grass line. The top of the grass was sitting in about six to seven foot and my boat was sitting in 12. And all I did was I just threw this out, let it hit the bottom and slowly worked it through the grass. And I got a very, very nice fish doing that. And uh, one thing I can say about the McCarthy's baits, <laughs> unbelievable as well. I mean, the one thing that I love about it is that every single bait out of the packet is straight. Not one of them is damaged. I've never ever opened up a packet of McCarthy's baits and found a bait where the legs are, are skew and it doesn't swim right. Every single bait falls right. Every single bait swims right. Also great color selections on that one. So that was another, another good bait for me today. And last but not least, I caught some fish on a rattle trap. And basically all I was doing was targeting the, the isolated sort of patches of weed on just on the outside edge of the house. And so just going down the banks and eventually once I worked them out, I've, I've switched rattle traps. I don't know how many times today. I probably changed six or seven different rattle traps. And eventually I found the correct one that they want. So it just resembles a little, a little tilapia. That's eventually what they wanted. So I just had to put it into the strike zone and literally it ate me within the first meter those fish absolutely come out and annihilated so it's been a fun day fishing a little bit tough in the morning but um, that's that's fishing and it's expected this time of the year but really really turned out to be a fantastic day so thanks for joining me until next time see you again